What's going on, Legion? Azrael here, like always. And we got some, um... This is more like the, the Eddie Redmayne, Jude Law kind of thing. It, it kind of looks like the one that started out, uh... The last time I did a reaction for ten, four Fantastic Beasts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I got two of these. One's a little different. This is another intro kind of situation. This is like the magic uh, continues, I think is the name of it. I can't remember. Uh... But, like I've said it before, I'll say it a million times, I can't wait for this movie. I hope, you know, I want it to come out, like, now. I want to get into it. Uh, it it really sucks, though, that these movies are so far in between. Like, the distance between these movies is just so great. It's, it's going to be so much fun to go back and kind of just watch them all in a row. I think that'll be, you know, just a lot of fun to do it that way. Um, but, I, of course, I've already seen the... Uh, Fantastic Beast 1, this is the second one. I can't wait to see all of them, but with that, let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. Hey guys, I'm Eddie Redmayne, and I play Newt's Commander. I'm Jude Law, and I play Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. Wondrous name. Are you ready for all the magic, the adventure, the twists, the turns of Fantastic Beasts, the Grand Supreme of the World? <laughs> this wizarding world that J.K. Rowling's created is so rich and vast, from Harry Potter to Fantastic Beasts, there are so many connections between characters and storylines past what I and present, and so many secrets yet to be revealed. So in this movie, we are exploring the rise of the first Dark Lord, <laughs> Gilbert Grindelwald. Today, we're going to remind you how the film connects to the Potter story we all know so well and we love. So sit back and enjoy the magic. Mysterious thing, time. There's the original Dumbledore, or the second Dumbledore. Once second. it was a young man. I think. Like you, sat in this very hall. Oh, okay. That's a clip. Okay. Walked this castle's corridor. Yeah. He seemed to all the world a student <laughs> like any other. Oh, it was only man. a matter of time. There's... Before we made the connection. The fact there's a commercial with so Harry Potter you, and crime so many in it. Before you have discovered the mirror of Erised. That's awesome. It shows us the most desperate desires of our hearts. Harry, men have wasted away in front of it. Ah. This symbol. Hey, that's the guy I saw. It's the sign of the Deathly Hallows. Together, we we'll get some... one master of death. Are we gonna see some stuff involving them? Or just the wands? I want you to have this, Credence. I would trust very few of it. Oh. Who is this man? Gallant Grindelwald. <laughs> we were closer than brothers. Grindelwald, the Elder Wand. Oh. Tell me where it is. Wasn't that supposed Arthur to be? Was oh, that, no, that wasn't him. The moment has come. I thought that was Grindelwald from the first movie, but eh, maybe it was. I don't know. I cannot move against Grindelwald. Look, it has to be you. Who represents the greatest threat? Wow, of course. Help us door. What are you Oh, we're going back. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. That... PG-13. Experience it in IMAX. Oh, oh, it's that voice guy. Uh, just, oh, let's just hear that music just one more time. Let's just turn it up just a, a little bit. I mean, a whole lot. Let's go back. Let's maybe get a little bit of that... I just want to say, seeing, I, I can't imagine what it is for the people that were, huge, like, I've said this before, I wasn't, I was a little on the, I was just turning into a teenager, I think, when the first Harry Potter came out, I think. Uh, maybe not even, maybe I was just further along in my teens, actually, when the first Harry Potter came out. I, I can't quite remember when the first one did, but, holy Jesus, that was loud. Um, but... I, I was not a fan as a kid. Not because I thought it was bad, because I was like, oh, stupid. You know, I was just a teenager or, or whatever. Young adult kind of guy, and I was just not into this. But as the for the people that have watched this as children growing up, for the for, for uh, Radcliffe and, and Stone and, and the redhead, I can only imagine what it's like for the fans and the people in Harry Potter seeing a trailer for Fantastic Beasts all these years later it's like it's like a decade almost, and this is not maybe not a decade, but close to it. And, and you see some of the original movies, and you see some of the original subject matter. 
But you see it with the new chapter, even though it's a prequel, it's the next thing coming out. It, it, for me, I'm just like, oh, that's really cool to see it. And I wasn't a huge fan as a kid. I'm a fan now, obviously. But as a kid, or, or even the people that watched it, uh, the people that were in it, I even feel a certain way when I see the original subject matter with the new stuff. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, rated PG-13. Yeah, we don't even hear that guy's voice again. That music, though, that, that just iconic music, it's so good. Did that scare anybody? I wonder if I just clicking it scared somebody. Um, yeah, it, just something about it, man. It, it, it's really good. I like it. I, I like seeing the original. I like seeing and hearing all the stuff that hopefully will be coming back. From what it looks like in, in this trailer for the, the uh, uh, crimes of Grindelwald, it looks like we're we're going back to Hogwarts. It looks like a, a, maybe stronger than the first one. The first one probably Neil. I think we saw it right uh, briefly. No, maybe not. Um, we look like we're gonna get to see a lot of the same kind of stuff. The 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 was it the Tri Cup tournament and stuff like that. It looked like we got to see some of that stuff. It didn't look, of course, it wasn't original Harry Potter footage because in Harry Potter, no one came out of the water riding a seaweed dragon thing. So it looks like we're gonna get to see clips, bits and pieces of uh, Mistress Commander's time as a student at Hogwarts. And that'll be really cool. And that's what I want. Like, no matter how much I liked Harry Potter, I hated when they went to London. In, like, Deathly Hallows Part 2, I think it was, or the, fir the first one. I hated every part where they were in London or in the real world. That's not what I want as a Harry Potter fan. Now, that's not my favorite part, I guess. I mean, I guess I can deal with it. But I want wizard stuff. I want... Things like that. I don't want... Oh, yeah, it's just, you know, really fast two-story buses that squeeze between buildings and and all that goofy crap magic in the real world. I, I don't really want that. Um, it's one of the few things where I usually despise movies or, or shows that take place in one location or maybe a handful of small locations. I'm not a fan of that. Harry Potter is one of the few that just take place at the school, but the school is so big and there's so much going on, and the little adventures they take in the forest or, or whatever, um, that stuff is fine. When they went to the city, I didn't really like that. That wasn't really my thing. Um, and so with this, Fantastic Beasts, we start out in the city. We start out with magic in the real world, and it worked. I didn't, I didn't have any problem with it. But with this second one, Crimes of Grindelwald, it looks like we're going to be getting more of the magical side of things. And I'm extremely psyched for that. That's what I'm really hyped for and what I really want to see. And with that, I'm going to end it right there with my ramblings and, and whatnot. Um, if you are a fan of just those iconic musics, the soundtracks that come with things you remember as a kid, I did a reaction to the live-action movie that's being made about Aladdin, the Disney movie. Um... And in that, they they had a the original Arabian Nights uh, music, I believe is. I don't know if that's the name of it, but that's the original music to Aladdin, the opening. Uh, but it was orchestra. If you want to check out something like that, you can check out the original trailer for that. You can look for my reaction. I got really excited for that because that Aladdin music, as a kid, watched that. That was in, that was insane. It was it was crazy, and to hear it just super orchestra. Like, we're watching a Star Wars movie. It's just, oh, God, that was really loud. Um, that was really cool as well. Um, but, yeah, so with that, I'm going to get out of here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. You want to check that Aladdin thing out with that incredible music, that score. You can look for that. And uh, I'll see what everybody I'm doing next. Later, guys.